How have you guys been? It's been a minute for me. Yeah. About that. I know. Don't, don't wait. Before you guys come at me with your pitchforks and your torches, let me explain. I basically had to take a year off. I had a third baby and life just got crazy. So I couldn't sit down and like record or do anything for a very long time. I had to basically just back off of everything and be like, okay, I really have to get my schedule together because this is nuts. Having three kids, it's not easy. For today's look, I'm gonna be recreating this look right here. This is the look that I'm gonna be wearing to my friend's baby shower. Yeah, and I went with blue because guess what? You're having a boy. I know you're having a boy. I feel it deep down inside. You're having a boy. I know she knows, but she doesn't want to tell anybody till she gives birth. How cruel is that? So if you guys are interested in recreating this look right here, just keep on watching. But before you do, before you do, girls, come on, please subscribe down below. I'll be releasing videos hopefully every week if thing just doesn't hit the fan like it did before. But I'll be releasing videos hopefully every week. I'll be having some Halloween videos coming up soon. I'm really excited about that. Who's excited for Halloween? You know I am. I trick or treat with my kids on purpose just, just so I could eat the candy at midnight while they're sleeping. Like I said, just don't forget to subscribe down below, hit the notification bell button to be notified every time I have a new video come up. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So if you're ready to basically Recreate this look right here. Just keep on watching. This is why you do your eyeshadow first before your foundation. This is like my third time trying to recreate this look. Well, to start, I already have my eyelids nice and prepped. I've already done my brows off camera because it's kind of annoying and tedious, to be honest with you. Yeah, so let's get started. I'm gonna go in with a very simple, cool tone, kind of cool tone, not really, but kind of. Transition shade, I'm gonna be using these do, 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 color right here. I'm gonna be concentrating that transition shade just in my crease. I'm gonna start right up in here. So if you guys can see right in here and I'm just gonna start lightly buffing that out. Get that pasando aquí. What, what, what is, what the fuck is going on there? Yeah, it looks better, I think. I'm not too worried about how messy it gets down here because we will be cleaning that up later. So for now, just keep blending. Just keep blending, just keep blending, blending, blending. And I'm going to go back in with that bone color that I used earlier to set my concealer, which was from my Lorac Pearl palette. And it's the light beige transition color right here. Highlight color, transition color. And I'm going to use that kind of like a a medium to lighten and blend, to smooth out everything out. I make the weirdest sounds when I do my makeup. Don't judge me, guys. Anybody that sits next to me would probably be like, damn, this bitch is crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my, this is the Morphe 321 brush right here. I washed my brushes yesterday, so it's still kind of like stiff. I'm gonna be going, into this color right here and this one i'm going to be concentrating it more in the outer v just like that and i'm gonna start creating kind of like a c right on my outer v right over here working it into my lash line don't worry too much about the eyelid area what you need to be worried about is not bringing it up too far up the brow bone once i put most of the product down again i'm gonna start working it outwards Good, it hid whatever the hell was going on in my outer corner. Like, I don't know what happened there, but I was panicking for a second. <laughs> so now I'm gonna use the same crease brush that we used earlier. Blend out the outer corner. Now with a detail brush just like this, I'm gonna be dipping into my Naked 2 palette and I'm gonna be using, ooh, put into this black right here. We dip in just the tip of the brush. With this color, I'm just gonna finish tracing out my crease but i'm only keeping it in this area right here and then whatever's left on the brush i'm just flicking it outwards now again with my crease brush i'm just gonna connect basically that black with the rest of my crease so now i'm gonna go in and grab my makeup revolution concealer guys seven bucks go grab this this is bomb just in case you guys can't afford the shape tape concealer, like me 
<laughs> this is a cheaper alternative. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand just like this. I use the color C2 and now I'm grabbing my M421 brush from Morphe. And it's just a small concealer brush, very small, very easy to maneuver. And with this, I'm gonna cut the crease. If I look down in the mirror, I will be cutting like wherever you see that white line right in here, just like that. You just pat your way across your lid. I use very small patting motions first because this helps me create a more crisp line than just like swiping it. I have a lot of lid space, so I have a lot of room. That's the best thing about my eye shape, but then it like folds like four or five different times and it sucks. And you just keep going until you get the, you could either go all the way out, that's up to you, or you could just stop midway, stop a third of the way, whatever floats your boat, you do it. Now all I'm doing is just going back over that line just a little bit so it's not so harsh. Boom. Now to blend out the rest of my concealer, I'm gonna go in with a flat shader brush just like this. And I'm gonna be picking, hmm, I'm gonna be picking that first crease color that we used, which was this one. All I'm doing is just patting it right in this outer V to blend in that concealer into the middle down to the lash line. Next, with the same shader brush, I'm gonna go into that crease color that we used earlier, which was this one right here. And then I'm gonna start patting that on the outer V to start blending it in with the rest of the shadow. And don't forget to bring it down to the lash line. And all you do is just build up. From the Lock Contour Palette, I'm gonna use this highlight shade right here. And that one I'm gonna be using right in the inner corner to kind of just finish off this area here now to finally blend everything together i'm going to use this morphe m330 brush just like this is like a tapered crease a tapered crease blending brush and that i'm just going to use go back and forth all over this section right here to blend everything together i do want to go back into this color right here with my flat shader brush on the cleaner side and just touch up this area now that we're done with our shadow, it's time for the liner. I'm gonna be using my NYX Epic Ink Liner. Love this stuff. And this is why I like doing my eyeshadows before my foundation because if I mess up the eyeliner, you know, I could just take a wipe and go whoop. I gotta lead look straight and draw out where I want my liner to be. And this is why I like using a pen for this because it's so easy. So now all you gotta do is just clean up your liner. So now that we pretty much got our liner in place, I'm gonna go ahead and touch up my eyeshadow just a little bit on the outer corner. So I'm just gonna pick up my black shade all over again. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it right in here. I swear Urban Decay makes like the blackest black. Like that really is the main color I use out of this palette. It's insane how black this thing is. As lightly as you can, just go in and deepen up that crease with whatever's left over on your brush. And I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy blending brush and just blend out the edges snatched not snatched snatched not snatched now we're going to move on to lashes we're going to use the salon perfect go glam multi-pack and i'm using the style 614 i love this style uh just to let you know i do cut the ends off a little bit like i cut off probably like that much just like a little it's not focusing but you know what I mean. First things first, you wanna go ahead and curl your lashes. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Ow! Don't poke yourself like I just did. Now it's time to put our lashes. Make sure you get the ends of these lashes, guys. You never know. I don't wanna be that girl that has my lashes coming out at the end of the day. Let's see how good I could do this in one swoop. All you want to do now is just clamp your own lashes with your fake lashes. That was a workout. <laughs> Let's see, can we go for a round two? All right, so lashes are on. Now it's time for the face. Yes. Uh, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Lumi foundation. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and prime first. I'm using my e.l.f. Poreless Primer. And this is just going to help your makeup stay on a lot longer. All right, so we primed our face. We is ready. Well, some foundation. Am I still this color? Oh, it looks a little too. Ah, no, it works. It's a little light, but we go in with some concealer, some contour, you know, the whole nine yards. 
Don't forget to drag that foundation down your neck. All right, so now that we have our foundation down, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution Concealer in the color C6, and I'm gonna put that right under my eyes. A little bit on my chin, a little bit down my nose, and a smidge on my forehead. Now, for under my eyes, I'm gonna go in with a small stippling brush just like this. With this brush, I'm able to like really get in here and blend that out. Now that we got the majority blended out under the eyes, I'm gonna go in with my brush. To go ahead and set everything, I'm gonna go in with my Lorac Pro palette with this yellow shade right here. And I'm gonna be using this brush from e.l.f. And again, I'm gonna go in, smooth out my creases as best as I can. Now I'm gonna really press the powder into all the areas where I get oily. So like in this area right here, I tend to get a little oily. Make sure to really press that powder into the skin. You don't wanna swipe because you're gonna move your foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and bake my under eyes because I don't want that to crease, not one bit. Be using my Airspun Cody loose powder. Looks like this. Oh Jesus, I just made a mess. Oh, there's powder everywhere. Good thing I didn't wear my outfit because that would have been bad. Pat that into place. I also bring it up right onto my nose because my nose creates like a weird shadow right here because I have a really ugly bump. And this just helps hide that shadow, creates the illusion of me having a nice, beautiful nose, not a witch nose. This also will help you with uh, fallout when you start doing your under eye. Now I'm gonna start working on my contour. I'm gonna go back into my Lorac Pro palette. Like I said, I love this palette, it's amazing. But just be careful with it because if you go in too heavy handed, it could be patchy and you don't want that. So what I like doing, I got the actual brush that came with the palette when I purchased it. I go in and press into my light contour because look this is serious tap off the excess tap it off and very lightly guys very lightly guys you're gonna pat this in a very small line on where you want it to be so i'm gonna go a little bit above my actual shadow and then as soon as I got more or less where I want it to be, that's when I start like blending it outwards. Once I finish contouring my cheeks, I'm gonna go in and contour my forehead, my jawline. And I'm, all I'm doing is just using a big fluffy brush just like this, face brush, to just blend out the edges chisel out my contour. I'm just gonna go in with a little powder, just like so. While that's baking, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my under eye. So basically what I did up, up on top of my crease, I'm gonna be repeating it underneath. I'm gonna be going in with a pencil brush just like this, and I'm gonna be dipping in first with that first transition color that we used, which is this one right here. And that one I'm just gonna go ahead and smoke out all under my lower lash line. And with that one, I'm going to be going down a little bit low. Now, I do like to go lower than normal with my eyeshadow because it helps hide the fine lines. You know how that goes? And plus, it makes your eyeshadow look bomb, so win-win. Same brush. I'm going to be using the next transition color that we used, which was this one right here. And this one, I'm going to be concentrating it more towards the outer corner and more on the, on the lash line. I'm not bringing this one as low because we want to create a gradient. And I'm pretty much just using the very tip of the brush with that shade to get as close to my lash line as possible. You know, with the first one, we went pretty low, but with this one, we're gonna keep it more tight on the lash line. Now you guys can leave it like this. I'm gonna go in a little bit more. This time I'm gonna use a Morphe 508 brush, very flat, very tiny. And with that one, I'm gonna be picking up that black, the very tip of it, guys. I'm gonna be picking up with the very tip of it. This one, I'm just gonna keep very tight on the actual lash line. And then just to give it one last blend out, I'm gonna go in with that same brush that I used before and just blend it all together, just like that. Now for my waterline, I'm gonna be using a very nude pencil just to help pop those eyes out. I'm gonna go ahead and put mascara on my lower lash lines and I'll be right back. Now to finish off the eyes, we will go ahead and I'm gonna use a dome brush just like this. This is from the BH Cosmetics Sculpt and Blend set. I'm gonna wet it a little bit and I'm gonna be dipping into my Little Pony palette 
which has this really pretty blue right here, but any shimmery blue would work. And that I'm just gonna be placing smack that right on my inner corner. I love it, look at that, wow. Now I'm gonna go back in with a smaller detail brush with that same color and just work in a little better to my inner corner. Ooh, I forgot to contour my nose. Lord have mercy, where am I going with that? I need to wake up. I really need to wake up. Contour my nose, um, again, I'm using this brush. This is the number 119 brush from the Sculpt and Blend set from BH Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna pick up that contour shade that I used to contour my face and just contour my nose. I really forgot to contour my nose. Like, what is wrong with me? Now for highlight, I don't know if I recorded it, but I basically used my Mary Luminizer, the tip of my brow, the tip of my cheek right here, my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And then on top of that highlight on my cheeks and on my forehead, I'm using the Carly Bible palette, this highlighter right here on top of that Mary Luminizer, like all over my cheeks to give me like an all over glow. Girl, I go ham with my highlighter. Now to finish off the lips, we will be using my LA Girl lip liner in the color natural. And I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. So I did not notice that. My camera stopped recording at this point. Um, just to finish off the lips, I used my Milani Lip Plumping uh, Lip Gloss in the color Nude Shimmer. It's the Keep It Full Lip Gloss, as well as I placed a little bit of that blue shimmer that I used in my inner corner on in the center of my lips, just to kind of cool it down a little bit and tie the whole look together. I also am going to insert a little clip with, a, with you know with the voiceover that I did um, of me applying my blush because I also noticed that my blush was also not recorded. So that is all. I'm gonna be going into my e.l.f. pointed powder brush and I'm gonna be picking up, be picking up this, which one is it? This one, this light color right here and just tapping it on the apples of my cheeks. And that is all for today's look, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. You guys don't know and don't know how much it means to me that you guys actually took the time to watch my videos. And please, 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 please don't forget to follow me on my social media down below and at me at all your recreations. I've seen several of my recreations already from the skull video, from a lot actually from the skull video. I've seen a couple of you do my Cleopatra. I've actually seen a tattoo on my Pennywise. Girl, I'm in like in heaven. Please do not leave me out. I wanna see all your recreations. It just gives me life seeing that you guys are inspired by me to actually redo my looks. I wanna see it all. Do not leave me out, please. So like I said, do not forget to follow me on my social media down below. Let me know what you guys think and I'll go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye. It's not working, it's not working. Mm -hmm. Oh, too much, too much. I already curled my lashes. I put a little bit of... This is my beauty channel here. That is like boss lady wing right there. That is like, don't mess with me. I will cut you wing right there. I am feeling myself. Feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs>